guys, this is Matthew from NerdNewsToday.com and you're staring at Zach Oat from Diamond Select. Zach looking awesome in this wonderful sports jacket. Very suave. <laughs> so we're here in New York Toy Fair 2019. We've got a whole bunch of things in the Diamond Select booth. And Zach, why don't you go ahead and please walk us through, starting off top here with these Legends busts. Yes, these are our Legends in Three Dimensions busts. These are uh, about 10 inch scale, about half scale. and. Uh, they are retailing for about $150. We're showing off Black Panther for the first time. We've shown a lot of these at other shows. We've got two shelves of those. We've also got some of these scattered around throughout uh, the other sections. So we'll see busts from uh, Castlevania, uh, Iron Giant, Kingdom Hearts, a few different ones. Uh, down here we've got Cthulhu, an animal, uh, Pacific Rim. Gypsy Danger from Pacific Rim over yep. there? Yep, uh, this is Gypsy Danger, yep. And then, Jack Sparrow too. Yeah, and then down below we've got our Honey Trap statues. These are developed by General Giant Studio, uh, General Giant Limited, and uh, they're sort of a James Bond meets Sucker Punch line of uh, high-end statues. They retail for about seven hundred dollars. That's some of the big news you guys have from this toy fair is that uh, you have acquired General Giant Studios, correct? Uh, no, we've acquired General Giant Limited. Uh, General Giant Studios still does action figure development for us as well as other country companies, um, but General Giant Limited, the manufacturing wing, is yes now part of Diamond Select Toys. Very excited to see you guys working together in this capacity. All right, let's go ahead and head on up, shall we, to sure. the uh, premiere statues? Sure. This is the Marvel premiere section. These are, uh, again, $150 suggested retail price. And uh, we've shown a lot of these on the top shelf before. Hobgoblin, Mystique, Spider-Man, Ghost Rider. Down here we're showing Iceman for the very first time, uh, as well as um, Daredevil, Scarlet Witch, and Iron Man. We've shown them before. And down here we've got our first look at Carnage. Uh, we've previously shown uh, Kitty Pride and uh, the TV Daredevil, but this Green Goblin is being shown for the very first time here. Good shot of that Green Goblin there. I love the explosion effect also in the base. Very, very well painted. Very nice. Moving on up now, once again. Up here we have uh, some of our Marvel Gallery pieces. These are about a $50 suggested retail price. Uh, we've shown a lot of these before. We're debuting our look at Goblin Queen right here. And over here you can see our uh, Proxima Midnight. That's being shown for the very first time. She's part of the Black Order, of course, from Infinity War. You can see our Corvus Glaive and our Ebony Maw here. This is a production sample of Ebony Maw. He's going to be coming out fairly soon. Uh, from Black Panther, we've got Okoye and our unmasked Black Panther. Um, here's our unmasked Iron Man from Infinity War and the Hulkbuster. Shot of that Tony Stark head. Love the sculpting work that Diamond Select does, and it's a great looking Robert Downey Jr. head. Oh, thank you. Uh, down here we've got some of our Marvel Select action figures. We're showing off Sandman for the first time. He comes with both legs and uh, a sand pillar to put, his, put the torso on, as well as a bunch of interchangeable hands and fists. Uh, here's Psylocke. Uh, these are both prototypes, Sandman and Psylocke, uh, but uh, she'll, they're both pretty articulated. Uh, this is a um, product sample. Um, product sample of rogues. This is what she's actually going to look like. She's, uh, she's uh, fully posable and uh, very cool. She came out really great. One of my favorite things about the uh, figures that you guys do with, with women in particular is I think the body sculpts are so much better than uh, what Hasbro does. Oh, thank you. Yes. That's very, very kind of you to say. Uh, another uh, female, the Captain Marvel movie select. Uh, she'll come with some additional uh, energy effects. This one plugs onto her hand and uh, this one plugs onto her hand and needs, it will need a support stand. It's a very big energy effect. Uh, but she also comes with Goose, who everybody is very excited about. <laughs> very cute. Uh, we're doing Mini Mates. Here's a box set that we're doing for the movie. These will be out in the spring. I uh, figure it'll be out in the summer. Here's a new gallery PVC. Um, we haven't shown this one before. This is her throwing a big punch, uh, crushing some scrawl weapons. And over here, we've got some more Marvel galleries. We've got Dazzler and Carnage. And we're showing off Beast for the very first time and Thor and Angela. I love that upside down beast. Yeah, I really like how the, uh, the missiles are flying past him. He's supposed to be in the danger room. Is this the first time anyone has done beast upside down like that for a statue? Possibly. You don't get a lot of those um, upside down statues. But, uh, Also. We've got some great designers who um, come up with these poses and these, uh, these, uh, you know, these effects, and uh, they're really talented. Uh, down here, uh, you can see our Spider-Man and Rhino from the PS4 video game. Yeah. 
Mr. Sinister has been getting a surprisingly strong response. People love that green base, and he's just a very striking character. Here are some resin pieces we're distributing from Gentle Giant, uh, some uh, animated style pieces based on Scotty Young artwork, and some more realistic resin busts. These are our Tiny Tin Lunch Boxes, another Gentle Giant product, where if you, uh, it's got uh, Avengers characters, Black, Black Panther, Ant-Man, Captain America, Black Widow, and inside, there's a uh, thermos, which is also an eraser, and a uh, pen cap. It's like they're in scale also for like a 112 figure. Uh, yeah, one six maybe. The, uh, but yeah, definitely um, a 12 inch scale figure. Yeah, absolutely. We can take a nice Marvel lunchbox tool. We also have these for Star Wars. And uh, Mini Mates. Uh, we showed off Series 77, which is all Spider-Man. Uh, and if you buy all four sets, then you can build the Spider Slayer. Uh, but here's 78 we're showing for the very first time. It's a 80s X-Factor, a 90s X-Factor. And if you, um, they're, they're paired 190s and 180s together in a pack. And if you buy all four packs, you can build Strong Guy. Strong Guy. The only mutant ever to be named Guido. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Love the mini mates. All right, moving on over. We've got our Bruce Lee debut. Bruce Lee, yes. We've shown this uh, gallery PVC. This is our water PVC, um, inspired by a quote that he has about, uh, about water how it can flow and how it can crash. Uh, this is our second one. We haven't named this one yet, but uh, the kicking one we're showing off for the very first time here at the show. Down below, we've got the uh, superposable action figures that we're doing. Um, first one is gonna be the yellow suit, second one is gonna be the shirtless one, and these are highly posable. True story, my very first uh, art assignment figure I ever owned was actually the Bruce Lee ones. Oh, excellent. Yeah, it's Bruce Lee ones, and so it's really great to see these coming back. I have to go back and revisit those and see uh, what they did and how they were. Uh, there have been a lot of Bruce Lee figures over the years. Um, but I think these will uh, ultimately stand out as some of the best. Oh, I agree. I like certainly the best. Certainly the best for the money. So I know some are kind of expensive. Oh yeah, I, me I remember the ones you guys did back in the Art Asylum days. Those were excellent sculpts, but these are light years beyond those. No, oh, thank you. Well. Great looking figures. And they're very high, they're highly articulated, so they're going to be like 24 to 28 points of articulation, depending on how you count it. Um, we've shown the mini mates before. We haven't shown these uh, two Vinnie mates, which is him in his casual outfits. I don't know if we have more Vinnie Mates planned, but we're going to start with those two. And then uh, over here we've got our Deforms, which are uh, super cute, chibi style, super deformed figures that'll be blind boxed. And down here we've got our uh, 80th anniversary milestone statue. Uh, very, very cool, very elaborate, $300 price point. Yep. The Robbie the Robot will be electronic. Uh, it'll come with uh, lights and sounds and dialogue, and he has a removable blaster in his hand. This is a resin bust in that Legends in Three Dimensions half-scale line. And this is a full-size action figure. It'll have interchangeable parts, um, but it's fully posable. Tiny Hogarth in there? Yep, Tiny Hogarth, the S-Shield, uh, the evil weapon hands, and the evil face. Tell us uh, if you know a price point for that Iron Giant figure. I do not. I am anticipating it to be in the $50 to $60 range, but I could be wrong about that. Regardless, it's definitely a lot more affordable than uh, the most recent one that came out for another person. Westworld, we're showing the action figures the very first time based on the HBO TV series. Um, looking at possibly a fall or winter release date for those. And up here we've got a Cthulhu PVC based on the HP Lovecraft stories. This is him emerging from his city. And uh, here is our Predator PVC, our first Predator PVC gallery, our uh, gallery PVC diorama. And these are both a $50 suggested retail price. That's incredibly uh, cheap. I also would expect these to be like $100 pieces. They look like, they look like resin statues um, with the detail, sculpted detail and the paint detail is, is, is equivalent but the material is plastic, they're more durable, and, uh, and that allows us to make them for a lot uh, less money. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take a walk around the other side. Sure. Of the we have some Castlevania stuff. Very excited to see this. Yes, Castlevania. Uh, we're doing um, dioramas, uh, so you can see Trevor Belmont here. 
and we're doing uh, Legends of 3D Resin Bus. You can see Alucard. And then we're doing select action figures of um, Alucard, Trevor Belmont, and Saifa Belnades. Um, lots of weapons for uh, Trevor and uh, the key swords for Alucard. And um, Saifa will come with energy effects. And then down here we've got our Godzilla PVC dioramas. Uh, the two pieces will connect, to, will display on their own, or they can connect together to form a larger scene, uh, inspired by uh, classic movie posters. And we've also got three new Vinnie Mates, our vinyl figures, um, of 54 Godzilla, 90, uh, 99 Godzilla, and Mecha Godzilla. Uh, over here, we've got um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, uh, we're doing these larger dioramas. Uh, they're a little bit bigger than actual size, but uh, picture them a little bit smaller. Uh, we'll be selling the dioramas with two minifigures uh, for about $17. Um, so expect to see these everywhere starting um, later this year. And that's a uh, vinyl bank there in the middle uh, where he's rolled up into a ball. There'll be a coin slot on top and uh, a hole to get the change out on the bottom. And up here, you can see this is series one of the dioramas. And then there's a gallery PVC from the racing game as well. Hmm? Right above that, we've got some John Wick stuff now. Yes, John Wick. Um, uh, we've shown off this gallery PVC of him running before. It's from the first movie. Uh, we haven't shown off this uh, second movie action figure, him with his new dog. Uh, in the black in the black shirt, and then here um, the white shirt. This is the first movie action figure, and uh, the the uh, new diorama of him from the catacombs in the second movie, and a Minnie Mates box set. <laughs> yes, I'm a big fan of the movie, so I'm excited about those. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, we recently uh, showed off packaged uh, pictures of our first figures from the third video game. Uh, we're also doing a resin bust of him from the third game. And uh, more PVC dioramas. Here's Toy Story Donald. We've already got some available at GameStop stores. Uh, right here we've got the action figures. This is Series 2. Uh, you can see Hercules is in there, as well as two different versions of Sora. And Series 3 is going to have Toy Story versions of uh, Goofy and Donald, as well as another Sora. And then down here, you can see our Vinnie Mates from the third game, Sora and Mickey. And over here, our uh, Minnie Mates. Uh, series 3 is up top um, with uh, Wreck-It Ralph and Maleficent and Jack Sparrow. And uh, Series 4 is down below with Mike Wazowski and Baymax and uh, Elizabeth Swan. And each of them comes with uh, either Sora or uh, Donald, or Goofy, or Mickey. Let's skip over so Here's our Nightmare Before Christmas section. You can see our Legends in 3D resin bust, uh, as well as one of our larger cloth dolls, uh, a PVC uh, set of uh, Jack and his sleigh, and also uh, some of our deforms. You saw the Bruce Lee ones. Now these are our super cute uh, Nightmare Before Christmas characters. Again, blind boxed. Uh, seven to the assortment, 12 in a case, so you never know who you're going to get. Do you happen to know uh, what the rarities are like? Are there going to be ultra rares? Or there will be, the if it's a case of 12 and there's seven, then there's going to be five of them, there will be two per case, and then two of them, there will be one per case. Okay. So two of them will be one per, if you buy a case, you'll, you'll get all of them. Okay, um, but you will have, but there will be two of five of them, two each of five of them. Uh, down here, we've got our action figures. Uh, series seven and eight will be coming out this year and you can build the, um, the uh, guillotine diorama. Then series nine and 10 will come out in 2020. This is my pop insider card oh, from We Met Yesterday. Thank you, thank you, you, yes. Yes, and you, you got my card, right? I did, yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Talk to you soon. It's one of the coolest features that you guys do. Oh, thank you, yeah. No, it's, and the great thing is it's a diorama that would work for a lot of different things. So if you're willing to invest the money, um, it's uh, three figures, in e three sets of figures in each series, um, so twenty-five dollars for each set. So it's about one hundred and fifty dollars to build the diorama. But if you want to make that investment, you, you also get uh, nine or ten different uh, Night Before Christmas action figures in the set as well. So if you're willing to invest the money, it's a great diorama just to have for 
you know, monster action figures or horror action figures in general. Now, right above that, this is a big announcement also, Star Wars. Yes, we've uh, acquired select assets of General Giant Limited, so we're going to be distributing um, all of their Star Wars busts and statues, uh, all the ones that they've developed so far. So you can see uh, some of the previously shown uh, busts and statues up here on the top shelf. So you have to have porgs. Porgs, not, absolutely. Not. I only recently saw The Last Jedi, so I too now love porgs. Uh, and uh, this Chewbacca is being shown for the first time. This is him as he appears in Solo. And over here you've got uh, Luke, uh, Luke Skywalker as he appears in The Last Jedi. And a BB-8 uh, one six scale statue and a, a Ray one six scale statue. And here's uh, more of those little tiny lunch pails for Star Wars. Luke Skywalker, the Tiny Tins, Pocket Pails. And uh, here is the, uh, I'm not sure, there might be a Shock Trooper. I can't remember what his name is. Yeah, sure some folks out there watching will know and they'll correct us and yell at us for not Yes, anything. yes. Uh, for last but not least, our DC section. Um, mostly gallery PVCs, but a couple different things. Uh, we've shown some of the, a lot of these gallery PVCs before, Supergirl, Batgirl. Uh, we're showing the uh, Mad Hatter bus for the first time from Batman the Animated Series. And we're showing Deathstroke from Beware the Batman. Uh, these continue our resin bus line based on uh, the animated looks. Uh, over here, um, we've shown some of these before, but they haven't been offered yet. Dark Side, uh, Green Arrow, and Wonder Woman uh, have not been offered to retailers yet, but Flash and Batwoman have. They should be coming out pretty soon. I believe those are production samples. Below that, below that. TV stuff. yep. TV stuff. I think we're showing off the Bat CW Batwoman PVC for the first time. Uh, we previously showed off the movie Shazam, the great Zachary Levi likeness. Yeah, that is really a spot on Zachary Levi likeness. Yeah. Uh, Justice League Wonder Woman uh, from the movie. Uh, we did one before where she was doing sort of a slide on her knees swipe, and we're going to do a new pose for her. And Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. And we've previously shown these uh, Dark Knight trilogy, Catwoman and Batman. Uh, we've got two new ones here, the Atom uh, from the comics, where he's on an, holding an actual size pencil and standing on an actual size notebook. <laughs> and uh, the Joker from uh, The Killing Joke, based on the Brian Bolland cover. So, um, and then of course, the Dark Knight Returns Batman, we've previously shown. Anytime there's a Frank Miller Dark Knight statue, I'm in love with it. <laughs> yeah, that one's really great. That's a deluxe. Since it's two figures, it's a deluxe version of the gallery, so it'll retail for about $70 instead of $50. But I think it's still worth it. Uh, down here. Yep, down here we've got um, some of the PVCs from uh, Dark Knight's Metal. So these are the evil Batman. You've got the Red Death, you have the Drowned, you have Dawnbreaker. Uh, and then you've got Deathstroke and Batman. Deathstroke we haven't offered to retailers yet. Batman we're going to offer at the end of this month. And then over here, we've got our DC Vinnie Mates, which are very cool. Um, Series 5, you can see on the right with Aquaman, Darkseid, and Shazam. Uh, and they're uh, static uh, vinyl figures. Uh, that's Series 6 with Batman Who Laughs. And uh, series, then we're going to do some based on the classic Batman movies, uh, so the Tim Burton movies. And then we're going to do, um, we have one for the new Shazam movie. And then we have three for the Dark Knight uh, trilogy. Let's see you guys another shot of the Batman Who Laughs. Yep. Previous thing ever. This one we're showing for the first time. It's series. This is from series six, and this is Batman Damned from the Damned series, and this is Batman White Knight. So those three will come in series six. Cool. So that's our look at the Diamond Select. Oops, got my mic. Caught. That's our look at the Diamond Select offerings at Twitter 2019. Zach, thank you so much for the tour today. As always, love being here. We love all the new stuff. I'm glad you like it. I'm gonna leave my wallet at the booth. Do what you will with it. <laughs> Thanks to everybody who's watching. This is Matthew from Nerd News Today. For more Toy Fair 2019 coverage. Stick around, there's plenty more to see.